Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Redberry Bio here, and welcome back to another Customs and Courtesies video. Today, we will be talking about what you do when interacting with the American flag in terms of the national anthem, just standing still, outdoors or indoors, and the Pledge of Allegiance. Something that I've seen in quite a few squadrons, which is actually not exactly right, is individuals in the unit saying the Pledge of Allegiance in opening formation while they're in uniform with their covers on. Which, as, as nice as it is to say the Pledge of Allegiance, it's considered a redundancy if you're already wearing a U.S. Air Force style uniform. So if the Pledge of Allegiance is being recited and you're in uniform, you're indoors, all you do is stand at attention, quietly. That's all you're supposed to do. If you are not in an official U.S. Air Force uniform, like if you are a senior member and you're wearing corporate polo, then you would put your hand over your heart, your right hand over your heart. That, that is what you would do. But otherwise, like if you're in a flight suit, you're in ABUs, you're in BDUs, you're in your blues uniform. You don't you don't put your hand over your heart. One, two. You don't recite the pledge of allegiance. Additionally, if you are outdoors and you are in civilian attire, then you would take your hat off as it's being recited. If the national anthem is being played and you are indoors and you are in uniform, then you would just stand at attention while it's being played. If you are a civilian indoors while it's being played, then you place your right hand over your heart and stand there at somewhat attention with your hand at the seam of your pants still. If you are in uniform outdoors and the national anthem is being played, if you are in civilian attire and you're outdoors, then you would place your hand over your heart again. If the colors are marching by and you're in uniform, then you would salute, and if you are in civilian attire, then you put your right hand over your heart. If to the colors, the national anthem, or retreat is being played on a military base, you are expected to stop the vehicle until the end of the music is played. If there is a stationary flag staff, you're not expected to salute it unless the national anthem or to the colors is being played. There are some instances where I have been to places where they're like, we expect you to salute this memorial, with the flag next to it when you were passing it, but that was only a very select location and that was just like guidance from the command that they had asked us to pay that respect to that memorial. When placing flags at like a conference or some kind of event, the American flag is supposed to be located to the audience's left and then like the Civil Air Patrol flag, the, the wings flag, whatever the other flag might be, would be on the audience's right. In the next video, I will be going over the different forms of address so you can be on the lookout for that. I hope you guys have enjoyed this Customs and Courtesy series. It's, it's very long, but I hope you appreciate it anyways. So thank you so much for watching and that is all folks. Until next time, toodles.